Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down 5 Mark Breland best knockouts. Number 5. Mark Breland vs Pablo Baez. On August 11, 1988 at the Vinci Manor, Chicago, Illinois, Breland beat Pablo Baez by knockout at 143 in round 1 of 10. Who has that potent right hand which he sets up with a left jab. And he has that so effective left jab. Breland said boxing was not fun anymore, but after the three-month layoff, he says he's got... He has Marlon Starling in his dreams, although there are other in the welterweight division. Other titles to go for, but you know he wants Starling back again. And then it becomes a question of style. But right, looking into the eyes of Baez. Pablo Baez starting off this fight going backwards. The way to fight and be successful against Breland is to move Whoa. forward. There. Baez out on the end of all those hard punches. 90% of the power of the punches on the end of it. Only one inch taller, but has a six inch reach advantage, and he is loading up. This could be over very quickly. Baez is the down. That was the 10 and a half. He made the count, but he's still very, very hurt. And His knees are wobbly. Half the round to go. Nine. He doesn't get 10 and a half this time. Number four Mark Breland versus Buck Smith. On May 19, 1996 at the Palace of Auburn Hills, Auburn Hills, Michigan, Breland beat Buck Smith by knockout at 0-25 in round 3 of 10. Smith wants to get in where he can work on the inside and the body and his jab, and obviously with this height and reach advantage, he should be able to do that. This is where I guess Breland does not want to be against the ropes with Smith on the inside. Mark says he's fighting now with no pressure. He's fighting it because he... Smith needs to be a little more, a little less one-dimensional. While he wants to throw those hooks, he can't turn. Breland had a knockout of Lloyd Hunnigan among his traveling around the country in making these 190 fights. And, and it keeps Buck Smith at bay. Now here's where Smith has to... Sam Williams is allowing it, so what's happening is Smith is... Oh, there's a running <laughs> goal. Is down and out. That is very amazing. Number three. Mark Breland versus Sung Soon Lee. On February 4, 1989 at Caesars Palace, Paradise, Nevada, Breland beat Sung Soon Lee by TKO at 0-54 in round one of 12 and one vacant WBA welterweight title. His career opponent is 27. And Breland 25, Breland the former holder of this vacant title. Lee conceding 8 inches in reach and 4 inches in height. And Breland's got him in the opening, 30 seconds, right hand finished. Seung Su Lee on the floor and still with shaky legs as Breland goes for the finish in the opening round. It's all over! It's all over! Number 2. Mark Breland vs. Harold Volbrett. On February 6, 1987 at Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey, Breland beat Harold Volbrecht by TKO at 2.07 in round 7 of 15 and one vacant WBA welterweight title. Number 1. Mark Breland vs. Lloyd Hunnigan. On March 3, 1990 at Wembley Arena, 
London, England, defending WBA welterweight title Breland beat Lloyd Hunnigan by TKO in round three of 12. Six. And Hunnigan's immediate problem is how to get close. Seven inch reach, Breland already beginning to show itself as he picked Indian Braves did when they prepared for battle. Oh, he's got Hunnigan. Short punch in the opening round and suddenly the Wembley Arena has gone very quiet indeed. Thank to Hunnigan, come on, come to me. See how you like it as a world champion. But he described Breland to me. has to be in close if he's going to do anything. Oh, that's the same punch. The short, jolting left hand. Holding left hand of Breland has found the mark. Unless something extraordinary happens. Humiliation. Staring him in the face. Trying to get out of the way. The 26-year-old world champion, Brilliant, is going for the finish. The one place he doesn't want to be, trapped in a corner. Again, he's down. Brilliant's got him again. His legs seem to have gone from under him. He's down again. He's all over. It's all over. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.